Then 2001, we had the opportunity to buy uh, the portfolio of eight crossings properties. It was actually the largest transaction done that year in the senior housing industry. We bought the eight properties for $55 million. So a few funny aspects of that. Uh, we, um, uh, first of all, it was a recession year. A recession year's capital is hard to come by. So we were trying to both raise the equity and the debt. And so, you know, like when you're buying a house, if you hit a problem with your inspection or you have a hard time qualifying for the mortgage, you need to get an, you need to get an extension from the people you're buying from. We requested eight extensions from the seller. That was not a happy seller, um, but because it was a recession year, he sort of, he didn't have a lot of choices either. And I remember uh, sharing this before that we had one funny story uh, where we went into Lemonster Crossings in the private dining room where, uh, you know, the glass are all around it. They were having a Halloween party. And we were in the private dining room meeting with the seller requesting an extension. He was not happy. He was furious. But all around us were people in their Halloween costumes. So there's a, <laughs> there's a monster over here and there's, and there's music going and we're having this meeting with this guy screaming at us, yeah. requesting, you know, extension number six or something. I don't know what it was. Uh, it was a memorable moment. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and I also remember about that uh, closing on the transaction and everybody in the industry came up to me because the eight communities were 96% occupied, so very strong performing portfolio. And they came up to me and said, you know, Tom, what do you, how do you add value to that? Or how are you going to make money for your investors because it's 96% occupied? How do you, get, how do you improve on that? Um, well, we did a few things. We added 12 units to each of two communities. Uh, we started charging community fees, which they hadn't been doing. We reduced the percentage of the occupancy that was in independent living and increased assisted living. We uh, did a whole bunch of things. Four years later, we bought out uh, the first investor and brought in a second investor, recapitalized the same eight communities for $150 million. Um, so that's what good operators can do.